the millennial generation, our generation has basically lived through like an air fryer worth of events in the last 20 years, right? It wasn't some long stretch 70 year thing where when we're 80 years old, we can talk about all the things that have happened. How about what's just happened in the last 20 years? Truly the roughest economy I have ever experienced. And I graduated from college and entered the career workforce in 2008, which you can imagine was a very tough job market. And I've been in and out of holes before, but never a hole this deep. Every single one of us is a bad decision, a bad accident, a mistake, a diagnosis. Every single one of us is one event away from potential financial ruin. I just feel like our generation is starting to question everything and we're wondering, oh, wow. why are we doing this? I just, this I don't sad. know what to do anymore. I don't. I just want a job where I go to work, clock out, and that's it. That's all I want to do. I just want to do my job and I want to go home to my kids. We have been priced out of buying homes. We have been priced out of having kids. Our kids have been priced out of adulthood. All the reasons on why you were a productive, tax-paying, law-abiding citizen we've been priced out of. Everything is expensive. Rent is the most expensive it's ever been. Groceries are the most expensive it's ever been. We cannot afford anything. And capitalism is working in that way. People are starting to wonder, uh, don't agree with why that. bother? Why even bother being complicit? We're not getting any of the that was marketed to us. And everyone's living with six roommates and barely scraping by. But it seems like even those who've had the promises made to them fulfilled by the system still aren't very fond of it. Are things tough? Undoubtedly, they're tough. But like, I really don't like when people use the measuring stick of, oh, it's just more expensive because that's not what matters. We know everything is always inflating. Like that's how our economy runs. What matters is the ratio. No one should ever be talking about, look at this like rent. Like that shouldn't be the way economies break things down of like rents at a record high. No, talk about the ratio relative to the average income. It's the ratios that matter. And on that particular note, the ratios are bad right now. If you look at it historically, a lot of the times in terms of housing, whether you're renting your mortgage, it's about 18%. Right now we're almost double that. We're actually pushing 40%. So like, I, I'm not disagreeing with it. I just think there's a better way for this to be accurately stated. So it should be the ratio of the at like of what we're spending to the average income. Uh, just to say things are like more expensive, things are always getting more expensive. That welcome to inflation. We have a forever expanding credit system. That's how the US economy works. We're always putting more money into the system. And as supply goes up, you're devaluing it, which means things arbitrarily become more expensive. To try to compare it and be like, oh, like it's more expensive than the 80s, 90s. That's how it's going to work. Guess what? Prices are always going up. But what's an interesting measurement is the ratio. That's, I guess, my only critique is like, I wouldn't just be like, and also that one guy was like, oh, this is capitalism. Capitalism is not perfect, but there's also no better economy than capitalism. And I get it. I get all these like uninformed people who are like, socialism is so good. No, it's not. Socialism makes everyone equally poor. Yeah, so you're equal, but you're all equally poor. Capitalism, like, like, take my opinion for not, but go do research on it. There's no better system. Is it perfect? No, I'm in no way saying that it's perfect. Yes, certain times things get a little bit too greedy and your regulations aren't where they need to be. Uh, untethered capitalism, it does have serious downsides. And I'm not saying that, but I'm saying out of all the forms of economies that are running in the world, capitalism is quantifiably the best system.